Alexa, volume up. Alexa, stop. No copyright, please. Guys, we uh, listen to the blues a lot lately. Not because I'm sad, but because it's a genre of music that I absolutely love. Probably my favorite genre of music to play on guitar. So we're about to head out. It's actually quite a nice day. We will do a weather check in a second. Lucy's just getting ready. We've actually started having, I don't know if Lucy's doing it, but I've started having cold showers in the morning, inspired by Will Gasovich. Are you doing that as well? Yeah, you tried it a little bit. I've been doing it every morning, putting the shower on cold. Now, I will confess that our shower here isn't like a cold shower in England would be. It's not icy, icy cold, but it is cold water, and I find that it wakes me up so much better. And the benefits of a cold shower are on the screen right now. On the screen right now because I've forgotten. <laughs> so here are a few benefits of a cold shower, and I'll put them on the screen. Um, stuff like keeping your skin tighter. It closes your pores. It closes your pores. Metabolism benefits. Like so many benefits to a cold shower in the morning, and then a warm shower in the evening to reduce stress, to get you ready for sleep. That's something we're trying. But let's let's do the weather check. Oh, I still love this view. I love how symmetrical this view is. Like the buildings kind of go up and then back down. Blue sky, a little bit of cloud. Lovely. Wow, it is so, so hot today. But we've come out, there's still a few people walking around, I guess, for a little bit of a walk or going to the shops, but the restaurants, all these restaurants are closed. So Other than take for takeout, so you could you can order at the door and you can take the food away. Hey, morning! It's so funny. Every we don't always vlog it, but every time we come out, we meet you guys. Oh, no, I think yesterday was like it felt like about ten people in about ten minutes walking down this street. So nice to actually meet a lot of you in person when we do go out and about, and get selfies and stuff. But I mean, look, this restaurant is usually one that has a lot of people sitting out and eating but everything's closed we're gonna head into the supermarket pick up a few things that we need I did notice that the small coffee shop near our condo is open we just walked past it so I think on the way back I'll grab a little takeout coffee support them a little bit grab that second morning coffee yeah. I think it's important if you can to like support the businesses that are still open totally. um, like order takeout and These things guys like are that open, sure. yeah. need some fresh fresh maybe we can get our like fresh stuff from that Oh, you want it? Nice. Yeah, we could do. Yeah, I'm the way that. see if real food is open I think it is um, this is where we like to get some of our food so we're gonna see if we can get in here some of our real food we're basically, making, we're basically trying to walk as quickly as we can one because it's so hot and two to get our heart rates up to combine the exercise with the food shop exactly but we have seen that BGC is allowed uh, alpha exercise so walking would count as that of course. Hi. Morning. Hi. Luce, a lot of people were saying to me and in the comments uh -huh. that they want cooking vlogs in like, quarantine. Just like, vlog or like actual yeah, just like cooking. Can you show what you're cooking in yeah. the vlogs? Got it. No problem. All right. They said they're still open, but only for takeout. They're letting you come in and order, and then you have to take it out. Of course, as we're all used to now. Safety precautions. So I'm getting two iced Americanos, and Lucy has gone to another shop. She's trying to find rice paper. She's got a little recipe for you guys coming up. You guys requested some cooking vlogs, uh, some cooking in the vlogs. So coming up, if she can find 
the right ingredients. Yeah, thank you. That's the one. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, cool, we got it. Nice to meet you. Nice Take care. Meet you. Okay, back from the shops, we got some peanut butters, our favourite ones. These are keto butters, um, and they're we find it's the best priced, healthy um, peanut butter. You get some that are like three hundred and sixty or something, but this is a better price. All natural stuff in there. Then George wanted to try this oat milk. Uh, barista oat milk, so we're going to try that for some coffee later. And um, this is some seasoning, it's like a soy sauce alternative that's less salty, no sugar or anything, all natural, so I got another one of them. But the same company do a tomato sauce version, and George loves tomato ketchup, but it's full of sugar, so this is like an alternative for him. We've got some coconut waters, and then just a few vegetables. So we've got some mint leaves, some carrots, some lettuce, some corn, and some rice paper. And I want to try and make some of these kind of um, fresh spring rolls later, I think, for some lunch. Pram to coffee iced Americano taste test. Pretty good, pretty good. Funny fact, I forgot to pay for this coffee and we got all the way up here. I was chatting to the uh, barista there and kind of chatting and getting on, having a laugh really. And then she kind of gave us the coffee and Lucy came in and she was subscribing to the channel. We were talking about YouTube and stuff. And then we kind of picked up our coffee and said, oh, it was so nice to meet you. Thanks so much for the coffee. And then she didn't realise, and we didn't realise, and we just walked out with these coffees. We get right back up to the apartment, and I'm, I'm like, I didn't pay. I had this sudden realisation that I had not paid for the coffees. Um, so, free coffee today, awesome. <laughs> Kidding. We went back. I just, I just ran back and, um, and paid, obviously. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Smashed it. Nailed it. Lucy's just recording a little uh, voiceover thing. Okay, so we've got some sourdough, some avocado with lemon juice and a couple of fried eggs. I don't know what happened to this one. The yolk came out of it, I don't know how. I've never seen that happen <laughs> in my life, but that's breakfast today. Okay, I've just made a little lunch up. Uh, I got some rice paper earlier from the shop and filled it with corn, carrots, cucumber, mint leaves and lettuce. And then I've made a little peanut sauce here, peanut butter, soy sauce, chilli oil, sesame oil, balsamic vinegar. Wow. What's, what's that I'm, face I'm for? I'm just looking because I'm really hungry. Oh, you look like you didn't like the sound of no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> I love the sound of it. It's so fresh, so healthy. Can we eat them now? Do you want it or do you want to wait a bit? I, I always did it just because I'm bored and I've got nothing else to do other than <laughs> I'm kind of slightly, can I just try one like just like to try it, see if you've got the recipe right, just to cut, no? Yeah, um. you can, do you want it? <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, try one of these. Oh wow, I love this paper, it's so weird. But it's I know, so cool. it's hard and then you put it, you soak Loose it in the water. The sauce looks great, do I dip this end or this end? Um, Probably this end, because yeah. otherwise it's all going to fall out. True. Oh, that's just, just going to be a mouthful of lettuce, but just take it a big is. mouthful. Well, that's a lot of sauce. Is that a lot of sauce? Yeah. But. Ugh, that's great. No, I'll just go for it. Mmm. Wow. Wow, what an amazing snack. It's not a snack, it's your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't demote it to a snack. There you go, it's very simple. On its own, that obviously is very healthy, but the rice paper's nice. And does the mint taste good? The mint tastes really fresh. It's a little extra sauce, kick. I'm getting in more of that. Honestly, that... There's loads of rice paper left, so... That is brilliant. Guys, awesome. have, you, have you, like, given the recipe or how um, to make this? Well, I just kind of said... It's uh, very simple. I think I, I think I feel myself making it. It's just basically soak the rice paper, fill it with veg, wrap it, and then mix all them sauces the sauce. together. All right, a few hours later now. Let's get some lights on in here. Ah, there we go. Um, it is the evening time. Just popped out for one. I've done this again. I promise that wasn't on purpose. Keep leaving the shield on my head because I lift it up when I come in the building. Um, right. Yeah, I just went out. It is so, 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 so close to 6 p.m., which is the new curfew time. So I wanted to get out for another like 20 minute walk in the evening because we won't be able to go out again today. We can't leave. There's a few people about to be honest still. I guess they'll all go home quite quickly as soon as it hits six o'clock. But this evening we, we have started watching the OJ Sim The People versus OJ Simpson on Netflix really hooked us in. 
all-star cast. You've got John Travolta. You've got the woman who played the main character in Ratched. You've got Ross from Friends. And honestly, I don't know too much about that story and that case. It was kind of like, I'm guessing it was when I was a kid or before I was born. Actually, I don't even know what year it was, to be honest. So we're learning a lot about it through the eyes of the Netflix portrayal of it. It's all fiction, obviously. Obviously, it's actors playing all the people and stuff. So we're going to watch that. Um, I think it's time to end off the first vlog, day one. How are we feeling? I think it's, it's kind of weird to say that because we've done this before, we're not feeling too bad. We know what to expect and we're almost prepared for it. Think about it, this time last year, none of us knew what a lockdown was or what it would feel like or we'd, none of us had no experience of it before, but we've all this time had experience. And I'm just thinking back to memories from like a year ago when we were like cooking here and what we were watching on Netflix and we were making these kind of apartment laid back vlogs and stuff. And it's like, firstly, how is that a year? That has gone so, so fast. This time around, it's kind of, like, okay, well, we're not to expect. We kind of know what it feels like. Um, Lucy and I, again, have kind of decided to use it as a bit of a reset. We want to try and be healthy. We want to walk every day. We want to work out every day. Um, but, you know, that's just what we're doing. No pressure. There's no pressure on anyone to do anything in these kind of lockdowns. Some people, some people stay in bed all day. Some people work four times as hard as they normally would to keep themselves busy. Others don't. Like, I don't think there's any right or wrong to what you're doing, but... In these vlogs, we'll just see what we're deciding to do to try and keep the most positive in our heads, keep the most happy and all those kind of things that we like to do. So, but anyway, until the next one, guys, I hope you're all doing well. Comment below what situation is right now. We did this a few months ago. Are you in a lockdown? Are you lifted? Are your restaurants open? Comment where in the world you're watching from. Always love doing that. Whenever we say that, I always look extra hard in the comments for people saying where they're watching from in the world. It blows my mind that so many of you right now are sat in your living room on the toilet, yeah, that was aimed at you. You're on the toilet right now, aren't you? In your kitchen, at work, at your desk, when you're supposed to be working, but you're watching these vlogs. On your lunch break, walking your dog, even some people just listen audio, I've heard, which is super interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna end off this vlog with a little shot outside because it's looking really, really nice and kind of the sunset lighting, but we'll see you very soon. Please give this one a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and we will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Goodbye, guys.